Hello there. This is Jim Phillips Safe with Right Words Marketing, and I want to give you a quick uh, look at the Yoast uh, plugin. Many people use the Yoast, Yoast <laughs> that would be Y O A S T SEO plugin in order to optimize their posts so they get found easier by Google, right? So if you look at my screen, you can see if you're familiar with WordPress that I'm logged into my WordPress site and I have add new posts so I can start writing a new posts. Okay, so let's say that I want to write a post on I just this one a while ago, like a year ago. Um or how to write a blog post, I guess what we called it. So really simple, right? How to write a blog post. I write my post, I put it all in here, I have some images, etc, etc. Then I get to down to the bottom here where I have my Yoast plug this called Yoast plugin. And if you don't already have this, you can go to your plugins on your WordPress and add it. And then I want to put in my my title, which is how to And then we call this the meta description. And people get confused by this whole meta thing all of a sudden I have found. This is really a description to get people to click and read your post. That's what this whole purpose of it is. Now you want to use the same term because that's going to help it get found uh, right higher on the search engines. Okay, so here is how I can write it. Ever wondered how to write a blog post? Great. I don't have to put in my name, but I'm just thinking off the top of my head right now. So you have about 145 characters, so I'm at 133, so I am good, otherwise I'm just going to cut it off. Uh, this keywords thing is also something that trips people up a lot. Don't worry about it, uh, just put it in the same thing. I mean, back in the day, several years ago, you would put in like everything on the planet. You know, you just put in all kinds of different terms that are remotely related to whatever you're writing about. You don't do that anymore. Google doesn't even look at it. So you can just drop in your new title again. But do you see how I've included the title and I've included it within the meta description how to write a blog post? We're not, we're being really literal here. We're not like changing it all up and, and rephrasing it. We're doing it exactly the same way. Now, this canonical URL, URL this is um, the original place that it appeared. I don't usually bother with this on a blog post on my, on my page, but if I were going to, but if I were going to, to uh, syndicate my post, like I was going to then post it elsewhere, like on LinkedIn, for example, let's say I was going to write my post and go post it on the LinkedIn post page, then I would make sure I had this URL on this website, on this blog, on my blog, as indicating that this is the original place it showed up. So, that would mean, you know, I would have it, it would be jenphillipsaper.com uh, forward slash how to write a blog post dot com. And that would be that. Now, if I wanted to redirect this page to someplace else, then I would have to do something different. But don't worry about it at this point. For most of you, all you need to do is fill this part out because well, I know a lot of people are ignoring it and not um, and not doing it because you don't know what to do. So just fill that out with your title, with uh, include it again in the description, and then you can put it in the keywords. It's really short and simple and that will help you to rank higher. And do you see how this uh, is the permalink? Or this, this becomes the URL, right? This is my uh, web address and the forward slash how to write a blog post. If I wanted to edit it, I would do this. 
In this case, I don't want to edit. But maybe, maybe I was, um, I wanted to rank for something like just blog posts. Which would be crazy because there's too much competition. But nevertheless, maybe I did. And in which case, I would just simply do this. And then click OK. And now I have a different URL. So there you go. Jimfelter.com for a blog post. It doesn't give you a description, but I could do that if I want to change it. So that is a quick, quick, quick um, overview of like how to use uh, the Yoast theme. This is like, it looks like I have an outdated version on this computer, which is kind of funny. Um, but that's a really simple way of doing it. Okay, hope that's helpful. Thank you. Bye-bye.